Hey James, I'm uh, happy to be back, man. Yeah, um, how was your uh, your vacation? It was nice. I uh, I didn't buy any souvenirs, but I got a sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> Count it. <laughs> yeah, I came back with something. Uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Um, Mallorca. Yeah, Mallorca. I think that's cool. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm. I'm oh. Did you eat some good food. Oh my gosh. Nothing but good food. Like, everywhere we went, it was just, uh, just the best food. And, like, out, and like food, I was, like, I was determined to try the things that I don't normally, like, jump out of my comfort box or whatever my yeah. comfort zone. And I had a baby squid with almond. And it was fried, and it was very, like, it was on my first night there, and I was, like, this is the best. It's not going to get better. <laughs> And it was, and it, and it did. It was fantastic food. All right, awesome. Here we go. Hi and welcome to Seattle's number one comic book podcast. Comic book podcast. This is the podcast dedicated to the first issue of your next favorite comic book. I'm Larry I'm James, and I think we found it tonight, James. Oh, uh, you, ep- we found your next favorite comic. Oh, I didn't want to put the cart before the horse, but we might be there. Uh, episode wow. one hundred and fifteen. Batman Year One, Frank Miller, David Mazzucchelli, 1987. Mazzucchelli has a lot of double letters in it. (laughs) (laughs) Double Z, double C, double L. Yeah, what cool, what cool, uh, uh, born in 1960. I was looking at his Wikipedia page. He is a cool dude. And if you, if you happen to buy the, uh, extra, uh, I have the hard copy of this. And if you happen to buy... We're talking about Batman Year One. Batman Year One. If you happen to buy the uh, hard copy in the back, I think this is just adorable. Um, There's drawings of Batman that David Mazzucchelli did when he was like a baby. (laughs) Wow, that's fun. He's been drawing Batman for, you know, 50-something years. (laughs) I just thought that was... Haven't, haven't we all? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I drew a couple Batmans when I was little. <laughs> I'm not quite 50 yet, but yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, so, uh, yeah, Batman... Wait, before we get into it, Larry, do you have any recent indecents? I... I know you might have been building them up for the last two weeks. I... Actually, did you do an episode? I didn't even see. I didn't. I didn't. I, 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 I wanted to, uh, but, man, swimming in the swimming in the Mediterranean... Like that's all you want to do when you're there. <laughs> so I read <laughs> yeah, no comics. No, no jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I read no comics, but I did swim around a lot. But I did happen to find something from one of the guys in the shop in, in the uh, in the club. Brought this in a couple weeks ago. It's recent and decent. It's called the New World. Now this is written by Ailes Cott, and you may remember that name because we did zero. Uh, sci-fi. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That had the cool cover on it. Cool cover and great interior art, too. Um, but this is, uh, this is Alscott doing the writing here and Trad Moore. And we've never talked about Trad Moore, but Trad Moore did a book called, um, Luther Strode, who was just sort of this beefed up, uh, badass. Like, wait, is it? character is it like luther the bbc show no With, no uh, di- no different no. uh i don't know where the luther strode comes. i love that show oh, i've never seen it it's good oh it's it's got idris elba as the star it, it i'm a big fan of him anyway yeah so uh um, I, I am too i like that guy a lot uh, well new world now this is a five dollar comic but i think there's like ten thousand pages in it it is Wow! Yeah. No, it's it's a it's a thick first issue. Wait, I, for a second I thought that was like a serious number, and then I realized you're exaggerating. I'm exaggerating. Like Ten thousand pages—that's a lot of pages. I bet <laughs> there's I bet there's fifty pages in this in this first issue, and there's a lot going on in this first issue. And I'm not going to say that the story really knocked my socks off into the dryer, but it's it's a really compelling story of a scary future that we're heading towards sort of kind of like in the vein of like a running man 
uh, uh, um, reality television show has taken over the world and the stakes are high. It's, it's, it's gory and that sort of thing. But I like, I like the story well enough. But the standout is Tradmore's art. When you see this stuff, and I, 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 like, this is, like I said, there's a lot going on with this book. There's a lot of pages, and it was actually mm. a three setting book for me. Like, I, it took me a lot, oh, yeah. uh, it took me a lot of Cheerios to get through this. Every morning, <laughs> you know, I made it to like. I like that increment. Yeah, the <laughs> amount of time it takes for a bowl of Cheerios. <laughs> yeah, so I, I really got into. Do you eat honey, honey nut Cheerios or regular? Honey nut Cheerios. <laughs> okay, it's you. <laughs> I thought you might have been a little bit old there, Larry. <laughs> but when you see this amazing art, so the character, the main character, her name is Stella Mars, and she is a amazing cop who goes in and does this reality television show that the entire world watches. And but her thing is that she's not going to um, judge Dread Swift, judge Justment, just justice. You know, she is not going to kill. And all of the viewers, and this is one of those instant gratification shows where you can vote for who gets knocked off the island, i.e. Mm. dead. Oh, um, that's fun. And, but she doesn't do that. She, she, uh, she doesn't listen to the, to the fans. She didn't listen to the viewers, but she is, she, she's still very popular on this television show. But she's got to blow off some steam and she, uh, she goes to uh, a rave and the, the colors and the vibrancy oh, of the book nice. are That's so, what I was gonna ask so you. amazing. It's so colorful. I Is love, it like chaotic? It's, chaotic color? Because no, it sounds like it, it would match. It, 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 there, there's some chaos, but like everything is very clear, crisp. Very visual, very, and awesome. like she, she paints her face. That's what you look for in a comic. Oh, and like there are, there's maybe five or six splash pages, including like some sort of like graphic, um, I don't know, like scenes where she and a, another character, a new main character, I don't want to spoil too much about the book, but mm-hmm. it is just so Wait, amazing. Sorry, Larry. What was the name of the book again? The book is called The New World, and it's, and it's written World. by Al Scott and art by Tradmore. you got to check it out. It's recent and decent. All right. Is it time to dive into Batman? I'm sure you got a lot to say, Larry. Batman's your, your man. I, yeah, I like this Batman. And um, I'm curious as Should to what, s- what you're going to say because this is... One of your favorite uh, artists, uh, he did uh, um, um, uh, 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 Daredevil Year well, One. Well, I really, I, I, I didn't like Daredevil necessarily for the artist so much, but for the story and the character. Um, but I think for the time, he's one of my favorite artists. Maybe. Yeah. Like in the modern era, I don't think I would pick him out. But for the the old school uh, style, he he definitely I liked him a lot better than Frank Miller by himself. Let's just say right. So yeah, this this is Frank written by Frank Miller with art by David Mazzucchelli and talk about old and school lettering by Richmond Lewis, which I do want to talk about at some point. Yeah, I, I do too because there is a cool uh, back and forth between Gordon's inner monologue and Bruce Wayne's inner monologue. Di- diary style but uh talking about old school uh let's talk about this cover because what an old school comic book right yeah it's very simple it's batman with the the cape over his face he's got a very simple pointed uh mask with the slits in his eyes coming out white and everything else is kind of grayscale and not really crisp lines kind of a uh, sh- m- not modeled but uh Shade, the, there's shade to it, but it's, it's not, uh, I don't know, Larry, what do you call it? Oh, I'm not looking at that cover, James, so you must have got all five or all four issues. Oh, you <laughs> caught me, Larry. So, a little bit of a, re- of a reveal, I couldn't, uh, just read the first issue, I did read all five. <laughs> all right. So I got the, I got the whole set. 
Very cool. Very cool. Uh, I hope and, that's not too much of a reveal of how much I enjoyed it, but uh, uh, well, I did I, enjoy it. It, is, it got me hooked. It is a good. It's a good first issue, and a great five issue uh, uh, trade. Oh, so what's the uh, what's the cover to the, the one issue look like? It looks like a very old school comic book. It looks almost weathered in the in the um, in the type of like there's like a real easy charcoal over the back, Batman logo, uh, Batman in the shadow, like the silhouette of the Batman, and then two uh, Thomas and Martha Wayne. Lying in the alley dead with a young Bruce Wayne in between them on his knees in, mm. oh, it's, it's, it's graphic. It, but yeah, it, there's a little bit of blood coming out of his head. Yeah. And a little bit of blood coming, leaking from her chest up her neck. Yeah. But so, it's, it's in a very, it's, it's not really gory. It's more, it's more sad or mor- morose. It, it doesn't have like a, I don't know. It, it's more emotional than, um, yeah, graphic. I would say. Yeah, yeah. It's it's violence has happened, but exactly. It's it's got that overtone of morose sadness. Anyway, I, I, I and it and it's done in an old school style. There's not like a there's not a digital to this. This is pen and paper. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of cool. I I. I really liked this look, actually. Yeah, I can't I, find the other cover though. It's not. It's not the same as the inside, though. Uh, a little bit on the inside. This, there's kind of that same uh drawing. It's the same guy. It's the same cover. Uh, no, I guess okay. I can see it. It's just maybe because it's a whole page. Yeah. And everything else is a little bit more uh, crammed in. Yeah, DC logo at the top. Top yep. Okay, so we're diving All right, into so this. So chapter one, who I am, how I come to be. Which I thought it would be how I came to be. But <laughs> whatever. Uh, he will become the greatest crime fighter the world has ever known. It won't be easy. So I actually had a question about this. There seem to be some references to Superman and Metropolis. Uh-huh. Did you catch any of those? Uh, no, I didn't. And, um... Let's see if they come up in this in this first uh, one. But it was all... I was, it, it made me think, like, oh, they're acknowledging Superman, but not really acknowledging Superman. Where am I looking at? Where are you reading that? Let's see if it comes up later. Maybe I was just imagining it, but, uh... It's not in this first page, so <laughs> I can't quite, rec- quite, can't quite, quite recall. Okay. Um, uh, but, anyway... Uh, so we should we start off with the start, or should we do more of like a an overview of what what this first issue accomplishes? It's a lot about Gordon. It's about it's pretty much a split fifty fifty of uh, Gordon coming to the city and uh, Bruce Wayne coming to the city. Coming back and it's, back to the city now, Bruce Wayne. If you're familiar with uh, the Batman, he's he's Batman. He's Batman, and he spent some time. Away from Gotham, where to he train, to train and learn the art of I don't know self defense, self yeah. attack, and uh, yeah. uh, eighteen he, years to be specific, he's been away. Yeah, his parents died. You see that on the cover, and he has to return. And I really liked this beginning of uh, Commissioner Gordon. He's not Commissioner Gordon yet. He's Lieutenant, Lieutenant. Gordon. Uh, he's coming to the city on the train and he's like resent, he's like, oh, you know, it's so like, it's so dirty, you know, I wouldn't let my wife come on this train, you know, it's, you know, it's not very civilized. And then Bruce Wayne is coming on his like private jet and he's saying from here, it looks, the city looks so nice, but I know that it's not. So you get like these conflicted, like one person has to do it one way and they both will kind of want to trade positions a little bit <laughs> which i thought was great yeah and it's and, and, and it's it's very well written that way you you yeah. see that you see that so clearly here you and you see it in the art and then you also see it in the uh the narration in the lettering so that gordon's is very like straight up and down lettering on this yellow paper 
and uh, Bruce Wayne's is in the, a little 